What's good? I'm gonna show you how to make dark piano melodies. Let's get right into it. So we're in FL Studio and we're going to be breaking down the melody I made the other day. So first off, you want to have a piano. Now you can have any type of piano, FL Keys, Analog Lab. Some free piano alternatives will be Spitfire Labs or Sign Player. Also a piano one shot would do justice. So the piano that I'm going to be using is Noir Pure. I'm also going to be choosing a MIDI for my Sinister Multi Kit. And I'm going to go into one of the MIDI sections, all royalty free by the way. And then I'm going to go to the Don't Forget Starter. Sounds like this. You know, very basic, just a basic starter. And all I did was just raise it a couple cents and I put a good amount of effects on it. I put EQ first, EQ some of the lows. I put back mask, which is a reverse plugin. It reverses the melody. I didn't go to the default preset. I went to the stabbing hand preset thing. And then I went down like this right here. And then I also clicked. I, I don't even know what I'm doing, bro. I just, it makes it sound like this, I guess. And I also went to Portal. This is part of the Sinister Multi Kit, which again, it's free. This is a free kit. But I went to the Skeet preset, and it sounds like this. It's like more in the background, delay type stuff. I also used Cymatics' new plugin that they just dropped called Deja Vu. It's basically, it's literally just halftime, but it looks nice. And I also put a Sound Goodizer. Now usually right after I get a melody or a basic foundation, I like to add a bass right away so I get the vibe of the overall beat. I got a piano bass and a Reese bass, both from my multi-kick and they're from the one-shot section. And I went with the It Sees You Reese bass. And then I also went with the Fulcrum. Yo. 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 Um, piano bass. And of course those three elements combined sound like this. The pattern that I went with, I wanted to go with like a little dirt kind of vibe, you know, something like aggressive. It's something you can go, you can flow on like crazy. A D, then went down C. This right here, this makes it like hella, hella bouncy. And I went up. I needed to have some sort of like ele background element in there. So I went with the bell called Poem. It's from my one shots again also and it's called palm and i just went with this very basic pattern sounds like this and all it did it was just cut a little bit and then put some reverb so it, it totally all sounds like this Now next up, what I did was I consolidate this part right here. All I did was put it a stretch pro and then put it down one octave. Doing this, especially for the verse, makes it have a lot more room for the artist. It basically just pushes the melody in the background. It makes it more ambient. It gives a lot more room for the artist. Put retrograde just to give it that delay effect. And then some fruity reverb. And I also added an accent or a uh, phrase from my accents and phrases section. I went with the evil eye phrase. But what I did was I cut the second part so I can have the high octave version. I made this part unique and I did the same thing. I put it a stretch pro, went down one octave to give it that ambient sound. And what I also did is I went to portal and I went back to the sinister multi kit and I went to spicy reset again these are all free man go get that shit. and then went to grow speed and i went with the one beat gate it sounds and then finally i might add a little bit more melodics in there but as of right now we got the string and this is from Spitfire solo violin. But yeah, since I just went with this, you can have any violin. You can also use Flex. Flex got some good violins in there. Analog Lab, you know, even some one shots. I went with this pattern right here.
And in total, it all sounds like this. Oh yeah, I also forgot I added a pad in there. It's the fader pad. Oh my gosh. All right, time for the drums, my boys, time for the drums. All right, now for the drums, we're gonna be going into the, we're gonna be going into the most wanted drum kit and let's just cook up real fast. Time for the 808. I might go into the unreleased 808 section just to test them out. I might also add a uh, real quick let me add one more sound I kind of want to add like a lead that might work let's see let's see what I can do to it so I'm gonna reverse this John put it through grossy And I'm gonna just keep it like that so it's just you know that's when the artist starts going crazy and then we'll go to flow state all right now we're gonna go into my accents and phrases from my most wanted drum kit go to accents and then go to I actually go back to contact and use this piano because Make it a little bit more aggressive. from my sinister multi kit it's free by the way all right now let's just add some transitions let me go to the uh fx portion let me add some put some transitions always got you always got to get that always got to now we could do the um i'm a boy 
boys that's essentially it if you guys enjoyed this video make sure i leave a like and sub i actually just got a new mic so it doesn't sound as good as this one i have like a road nt 100 1000 or some shit the thing is it causes a lot of problems so i just bought another mic it gets the job done hopefully make sure y'all get sinister multi kit down below it is free it is a free multi kit with, with 20 porter presets 30 royal to free midis 10 royal to free melodies 30 plus one shots 20 world to free accents and phrases the put a priestess that i was using are from the sinister multi kit the one shots the fucking midi the, all of it man that shit's crazy i'm also going to be doing a discord real soon where i'm going to be dropping free sounds like on there like free 808s free fops from the videos that i'll be dropping a whole bunch of sauce if y'all want that faster make sure y'all leave a like and spam that shit make sure y'all follow me on ig at ig on this way flow close to that 1000 followers but yeah my boys we're growing hella fast appreciate every single one of you if you guys have any more video suggestions make sure you leave them down below in the comments close to that 1.5k it's actually kind of crazy i'm thinking of doing another multi kit it might be a little bigger this time actually i might include a drum kit in there and i might price it at five dollars my boys a five dollar multi kit i don't know maybe it's just it's floating in the air there you know the ideas in there but yeah my boys if you guys enjoyed this video make sure y'all leave a like and sub and yeah i'll see you boys in the next one Peace.